What cars will Tesla Giga Berlin make? Let's talk about that today. When Giga Berlin is ready, Tesla is going to build cars, batteries and powertrains. But the first vehicle will be Tesla Model Y. In other words, in Berlin Gigafactory, Tesla is going to start with the Model Y and prioritize Model Y production. Hello everyone, this is Armen Harayan from torquenews.com. Welcome back again to our channel. Before I start with Tesla production plans with Giga Berlin, please subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to be notified when I bring the next update. My channel brings daily updates on Tesla, automotive industry and daily updates about Giga Berlin. Please like this video and let's get started. Okay. So last year, in November, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk provided few details about the plant, which would be Tesla's first major factory in Europe, situated in Germany, in a little municipality outside of Berlin called Grunheide. Grunheide. I have spoken a lot about Giga Berlin progress, providing updates and news daily, but now I want to speak about what models will Tesla produce once it completes the construction of the Gigafactory 4. This is you know, Tesla's fourth Gigafactory, which is also known as Giga Berlin, because that's how Elon Musk tweeted, Giga Berlin. Giga Berlin will not be dedicated only to producing a one or two models of Tesla or just batteries, but Tesla plans to make batteries powertrains, vehicles, starting with the company's newest model, a compact sport utility vehicle called the Tesla Model Y. In a tweet late Tuesday on November 12th of 2019, Tesla CEO Elon Musk said that Giga Berlin would build batteries, powertrains and vehicles starting with the Model Y. I quote this, starting with Model Y. The factory is also expected to produce the Model 3, the company's best-selling car. Model 3, 3 is Tesla's currently best-selling car. So Tesla will start with the mass-market Model Y crossover SUV as soon as 2021. That's the expected date. I think Deutsche Bank research also indicated that Tesla will prioritize Model Y production in the Berlin Gigafactory 4. Tesla has already posted jobs for construction, operations, engineering and manufacturing workers for the factory in the German capital. Two weeks ago, approximately two weeks ago, I covered a video report discussing the jobs Tesla has posted on its European site. I will put the link uh, to the report in the description of this video. Please check it out. It's an interesting report, what types of jobs Tesla hires. At that time, Tesla didn't say uh, when its factory would open or how many cars it will produce. But according to German newspaper Bild via Reuters, Tesla plans to produce 500,000 vehicles per year at the new factory. And now we already know that the Berlin Gigafactory 4 is expected to be completed by the end of 2021. Tesla Berlin Gigafactory will be its fourth worldwide following the construction of Gigafactory 3 in Shanghai, China, which last year delivered its first cars just under a year after work at the factory began. Just under a year. Tesla's first two Gigafactories are in the US, in Nevada and Buffalo, New York. So now landing in the backyard of BMW, Mercedes, and the Volkswagen Group, the Tesla factory will build Model 3 and Model Y cars for the European market, but the Musk said it will start with Model Y, which Tesla expects to be very popular in Europe and worldwide. This is why it chose Model Y. Then will probably come the Model Tesla Model 3, which is currently one of the most popular, if not the most popular cars. Actually, it's one of the most popular cars in Europe. I'm glad to see that Tesla is uh, going to build batteries also in Giga Berlin too. 
which is a good thing because batteries are becoming now one of the most important components, if not the most important component in car electric cars. Giga Berlin would be powered by wind and solar energy, which is also good, with a goal to be emission free. The new plant would be Tesla's first major production center in Europe. The company runs a smaller assembly plant in the Netherlands and facilities in a number of other European countries. Regarding Germany, when Elon Musk was making the announcement for Giga Berlin, he also said everyone knows that German engineering is outstanding for sure. That's part of the reason why we're locating our Gigafactory Europe in Germany. We are also going to create an engineering and design center in Berlin because Berlin has some of the best art in the world. Europe is providing to be a fertile market for the company. After its introduction in March, the Tesla Model 3 quickly became in March of last year uh, the, when it modeled in March of that year became best-selling battery-powered car on the continent in European continent. Germany, Europe's is biggest economy, is becoming quickly the European battleground for building electric vehicles, as both the German government and manufacturing invest in the new technology. They invest heavily in the new technologies. The government recently announced, for example, plans to subsidize the purchase of electric vehicles by as much as $5,500 in a bid to bring 10 million electric cars into German roads by 2030. The government plans to support those with 300,000 publicly accessible charging stations. So this is a huge support uh, from the German government to um, promote electric mobility. And I saw this in Germany when I visited there last year in October on a business trip, um, which was supported and in, uh, inspired by GTAI, a German Trade and Invest, where we saw surprisingly how things were electrified in terms of mobility in Berlin. Uh, from what I understand, only 30% of Berlin population has cars, owns cars. It's because most of them don't need to, because the public transportation is so good and also uh, the kick, electric kick scooters and electric bicycles are so widely available that most of the population don't need to have electric and uh, don't need to have cars. And I saw wide variety of electric cars. In fact, speaking of electric bicycles, in Berlin, I saw the largest bicycle parking lot in the world the largest bicycle public um, parking lot in the world. So Germany is um, investing heavily in electric uh, vehicles and also in uh, supporting electric vehicles by population, giving the incentives and tax credits and so on that I just mentioned. And uh, it's not surprised that Tesla is taking advantage of it. From what I understand, they were Tesla was first looking at United Kingdom uh, to be the home for its fourth Gigafactory, Gigafactory 4. But after the United Kingdom decided to be separated from Europe uh, as a result of Brexit, uh, Tesla had to choose some, something, a different place in the continent. And I'm not surprised that Tesla chose Germany and also Tesla chose Berlin. Not the South, where the majority of the automaker sec automaking sector is uh, situated. But somewhere in the north, where um, Berlin has a good electric mobility, that uh, car ownership is uh, discouraged in, in favor of car sharing. And this is going to be an exciting opportunity. And we also see that the uh, Gigafactory site in near Berlin in Grunheide is going fully forward. That last week they finished the electrifying work and bringing power. And I think uh, this couple of days, by the end of uh, March 18, after a few government approvals, Tesla will already start the ground working. We know that the ground working approximate timing by the end of this month is already confirmed by local governments and ministers and local mayor. 
and Elon Musk also confirmed his participation, his attendance of the groundbreaking, which will be a good signal. I hope some uh, executives from other car companies would also participate, like I understand the Volkswagen executive participated when Tesla was uh, also making the announcement last November in Berlin about the Giga Berlin. So this is all good developments going on. This is going to help the environment. Electric cars will have, if they find better batteries, better ways of making batteries, this will also be a positive impact on our environment. And it's interesting that Tesla is prioritizing Model Y uh, production as the first car to be produced in, uh, in the Gigafactory 4. And it's good that Tesla will also be emission free in terms of operating the Gigafactory as well as being um, <coughs> uh, produced Model 3 and batteries. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, like this video and let us know what you think in the comments below. Uh, are you excited that Tesla is starting with Model Y or do you, would, would you prefer Model 3? And what about Model S and, or Model X? How are they doing? Um, let us continue the discussion here. Please visit us at torquenews.com and uh, I will see you in our next video. Have a blessed day.